Street Fighter 4 come up for this far now representing Chun Li, not going with Ultra One or excuse me, Ultra Two. It's going to be Ultra One against Ken, which opens up a lot of possibilities. And and in my in my opinion, a little bit of a strange choice. Doctor Chaos is not really known for throwing a lot of fireballs at people. Tends to play his Ken a little bit close. He likes to be up in your face. Yeah, that's where he makes most of his money. Uh, so maybe Neo has a special game plan or just feels generally more comfortable with Ultra One. Dr. Chaos has incredible footsies. He's a Philadelphia area player, but he doesn't play like the players that come from there. He plays more of a controlled, uh, thoughtful game. So you're going to see a really textbook Ken. Neo's been all over him so far, but uh, let's see if he can make something happen. There's Chun-Li in his face and she misses the link. Catches that one. Oh. Dr. Chaos is going to need to make something happen. Gets a knockdown. Goes for the car throw. Doesn't connect. Chun Li back backdashes out there. You can count on Chun Li to be backdashing all the time. He's got such a sweet backdash. Nice continuation. No mix up opportunity again. Wow. Very nearly a level two crumple. Catches are trying to get out of there. Wow. He's playing so safe right now. Wow. Dr. Chaos just in his face, let him crumple before his eyes, really not creating those opportunities, just letting Neo fall apart. Yeah. Stood in Neo's face and just stood there and waited. Yeah, doing the rope and said, here, JJ, hang yourself, buddy. See Sonic back on the mic, welcome back. Just a little bit, uh, I'm really excited to see Dr. Chaos, so I wanted to hop in here, rep the hometown hero. <laughs> and again, representing that Ken with the cowboy hat, going for the custom-made hat from our friends at Stetson, custom-made for Ken Masters. <laughs> uh, Shout-outs to Stetson, our sponsors. Only a few in the world. Got to give it up for Stetson. They're big in the video game world. Uh, very cool guys. Without Stetson, there would not be two Kens in the top 32 in the winner's bracket. I think that uh, they really no. have inspired people to uh, <laughs> step it up. That, that hat was definitely a huge draw for people. Well, we've got a second here between the break. Oh, we're going to see a switch to jury. Can't wait until next year when there are tamales up for the top three. Top ranking, El Fuerte, I'm going for the tamales. That is something we've considered uh, character specific prizes for the top finisher of all characters. So cool. Are you sure we uh, could, as long as could we, we get a giant $50. sombrero? <laughs> no, mean, never. We'll never get that by next year. Uh. <laughs> Logistically, I don't see it happening. There are no giant sombreros <laughs> in existence. So Neo making an adjustment now with Jury. Neo is Korean? Is this just a home country pride? Could be. Maybe he just likes the ladies. Nice read there from Dr. Chaos. And again, Jury with uh, no EX meter. Ken was able to just walk up right there and get in her face early without having to worry about being reversal. And again, Ken having that huge range on what we call a car throw, which is where you use a normal move to extend your hit frames forward and cancel that into a throw. But it happens so fast, it's virtually invisible but it allows some characters to extend their throw range down where it would normally be. Yeah, it looks like Ken will take a huge step forward when he grabs. Jury also has one. The distance isn't quite as far as Ken's, but it's also very useful. Yeah, it really helps. Uh, it's one of those extra mile kind of things you can do to make your distinguish yourself as from a good player to a great player. Jury now activating Ultra One, uh, allowing her to chain all of her moves together, of course, but you got to create opportunities. But there's interesting mental properties that can result from uh, Jury charging, or excuse me, activating her Ultra One. Some people will uh, try and run away. Jury can make use of that. Other times, Jury can sit back and throw fireballs. Nice. Oh, no no kill in there one. Oh, no. I don't even know how that happened. Jury's counter is very interesting in that when she activates it, no matter what move hits her, unless it breaks the armor of it, she takes zero, zero damage. damage. Yes, you'll remember in earlier builds of Super Street Fighter 4, she did actually take damage and had to focus it back up. Not that time. Brilliant play. Neo taking full advantage of it. I think even Dr. Chaos was a little surprised by that. That caught him a little off guard. He definitely didn't see that one coming. And here's Huge Jury's corner, corner pressure. pressure. Yeah, loving it. And there's the dizzy. Dr. Chaos is in trouble. But again, a totally unflappable face. Yeah. He's wow. He's gonna take that loss. Look at that. I like that fist in the air. Oh, he's repping his shirt. Get it up there. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Chaos, I like how he sat there in the corner though. He did get perfected and totally mauled. But he, like you said, he never got sh shaken, uh, and, and I think he's just going to take that one and uh, put it in the, the database for this next round. Now what you're seeing a lot from both players is uh, what we in the Street Fighter community call footsies, which is uh, a lot of movement back and forth. It's, it's a simple concept with an extremely difficult meaning. Uh, basically what you're seeing is a lot of maneuvering back and forth, both players trying to move into just the range 
where either their moves will hit or where their opponent's moves will whiff and they can get a counter hit in return. Here comes Jury. No action there. Just quickly thrown into the corner by Dr. Chaos. Neo activating process. Feng Shui engine again, but again choosing not to put a lot of huge pressure on. And there's that mental effect we saw of activating Ultra One. D Dr. Chaos. Wow. Dr. Chaos thought because she had Ultra One activated, he would definitely go for offense. Wow, he connects the Ultra, and that's going to close it out. And we'll see if that silences Neo, who had been, uh, you know, sort of feeling himself after that second game. And here comes Dr. Chaos going straight for the throw. Nice follow on there by Neo. Dr. Chaos in his face again. Wow, huge range on that Kara throw, which we discussed earlier. Jury's going to need to make something happen. It's match point Dr. Chaos, and she's been unable to generate any real offense. Nice There's get the throw into the corner. Wow. Kara oh, hits that up right there. Bigger opportunity that she was able to take advantage of, but nice pressure. That Chaos was her last been trying for the ultra right there. Ah. Didn't go off. Dr. Chaos doing a little smiling of his own. And the crowd clapping for Neo, very impressed.